Well, I'm Fully Batibo with a look at the main stories on Al Jazeera. Venezuela has declared seven days of mourning following the death of President Hugo Chavez. Chavez died Tuesday night after a long battle with cancer. Al Jazeera's Gabe Elizondo reports from the streets of the capital, Caracas. These people here are some of Chavez's most ardent supporters. They're actually here every day, not just because of his death yesterday, and they're watching videos on the TV uh, there that you see behind me of some of his speeches. They're here every single morning, not just today. It kind of just shows you uh, how uh, passionate his supporters are. Since it is so early in the morning, I just want to show you a couple of the headlines of the local papers just to give you a sense of how uh, Venezuelans are waking up to the news today. This is one of the papers, a uh, big photo of Hugo Chavez. Another one here, it's, uh, the main headline is uh, the, beginning, the beginning of the uh, era without Chavez. And El Nacional, a huge photo of Hugo Chavez as well. World leaders are sending their condolences, some warmer than others. Chavez is being mourned in places like Iran and Russia, but in the United States, his death is being seen as a chance for a new and better relationship with Venezuela. Hundreds of election officials from across Kenya have been flown into the capital, Nairobi, to help count the votes. More than 300,000 ballots from Monday's election were rejected for failing to follow strict voting guidelines, and that's delaying the announcement of the results. Lebanon's foreign minister has asked for Syria to be readmitted into the Arab League at a meeting in Cairo. But the response from other members suggests that isn't likely. Qatar's prime minister blamed President Bashar al-Assad for the bloodshed in Syria. Malaysian soldiers have widened their search for a group of armed Filipinos in the eastern state of Sabah. At least 13 gunmen were killed when the military launched a ground and air offensive on Tuesday. Around 200 Filipinos landed on a coastal village in Sabah nearly a month ago. They claim the state as their ancestral land. And you can find a lot more on those stories and much more on our website, aljazeera.com. Thanks for watching.